Brent Central Arkansas here it has been rainy and uh, cold and I've not really wanted to be out in the greenhouse but I do have some onion transplants coming from Dixondale Farms I've used them for uh, is this my second or third year anyway um, I didn't order candy onions this year I ordered Texas legend and I'm gonna plant them vertically now the onions can get up to six inches in diameter and that means we need six inch spacing so i took the same vertical uh fawn platforms that i have strawberries and others growing in and i did the six inch spacing with these particular ones now i wanted to point out when you get through drilling holes a lot of times you'll run into this type of rough edging and there's an easy way to remedy that. This particular hole has got rough edges on the outside and the inside. So all I do is I take a box cutter knife, a razor blade knife, whatever you want to call it, and I just simply go around the edge just like that. I wanted to show you also if the lip really bothers you and you're really concerned about it, it just takes a couple extra swipes to get it really smooth downwards like that. Next you can put the cap on, it's uh, not glued or anything, and then you drill it the same size as your neck cup, in this case it's 3 inches. Once I've got my cap on, before I'd said don't glue this, and uh, the reason being is there's really no need to glue it, and it's permanent. Plus you want to be able to take it off and just slide all the soil out, you know, for uh, getting rid of uh, the old roots, old plants and stuff, you clean it out. So you want to make it uh, clean, easy as clean out as possible, but at the same time, you don't want to, um, you don't want it to come off whenever you're carrying it or anything else. So what I've done is I, I've made a simple little um, fix for that, and I'm going to drill two holes in here. I go through the cap and the pipe, and all I do is I take a zip tie. I'll show you here and I bring it up through the bottom like so and down and I zip it together and I do that on both sides it's easy a guide because you've got this line here that you've already drilled for the holes I'll show you what it looks like once I secure it. Okay, there you go with the zip tie. And this is what it looks like from the inside. All right, let's take uh, a net cup, put it in there, and we'll pull it through the bottom and then fill it up with our medium. Got the two onion verticals plugged in here and here I've ordered uh, from Dixondales before last year I did candy this year I'm doing Texas legend and uh, each bundle on the website says there's 50 to 75 uh, that comes uh, in when they ship it and there are 125 in this bundle. I've already counted them. That is a great deal. Okay, all I'm going to do <clears throat> is set the onion in this little cup here. You've seen me do it before. It's going to sit just like that, and I'm going to put a little bit of dirt on top of it. I'm going to do that all the way up. A little planter here. And all I want is for the roots to make contact with the soil, just like that. That's a big one there. 
That's the purpose of these little cups here is just to cradle it until the roots can grow and uh, grab into the soil. Oh, that's a big one there. All right, and I'll do that in the whole tower. And just put a little bit of soil on it, just like so. Now, I've never grown onions in a tube like this, and I know with onion transplants and, and onions, if you didn't know, uh, that once uh, the time of year reaches uh, the proper amount of daylight hours, the bulb, the green, will stop growing, the leaves, and the bulb will start forming. It'll start getting bigger and expanding. Well, if it's inside the tube, well, obviously that's not good. So the reason why we plant it so shallow is that the bulb can grow outside of the tube with the roots attached on the inside. Now, those are my thoughts. I've never done it. I've never seen anybody else do it this way. And so you'll get to see what it turns out like with me. Okay, it's been a few days. You can see that they're beginning to grow their tips out. So they are growing. Um, the one thing I did have learned already is not to compact the soil too much in these towers. The onions are dying to put roots out, and they were, but when they put the roots out, it would push the onion out in a way, so I'd have to kind of waller it out a little bit and stick the onion back in. But um, so the, the thing there is, um, I've learned not to pack the tubes too tightly. I mean, they were pretty packed.